Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have my six tips to help your hair recover after all the heat damage you've been through. And this is great for you girls that have transitioning hair and you're trying to get into your natural hair, but you spent so many years heat damaging it and dyeing it and everything. And I'm gonna let you guys know on some of the tips that I use personally and came up with that helped my hair get back to its natural curls. So before we get into that, make sure you hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell so you know every time I upload. So my first tip that I have is to stop the heat. Stop straightening your hair, stop putting any type of heat to it. Now I know it's really hard to just throw away your flat iron and say, I'm not going to straighten my hair anymore. So my tip to you would be to at least maybe straighten your hair every other month or have it go into straighten your hair every two months and then after time, it'll become easier to say you're not straightening your hair for six months and then a year. Once you stop straightening your hair so much, it'll become easier and you won't even think about it anymore. And you'll be like, you know what? I don't need to straighten my hair. I like how my curls are starting to become healthy again. Now I know there was a time that my hair was literally just like waves because I straightened it way too much. And one day I'm like, you know what? I want my curls back. I want nice curly hair again. So I kind of just toss my flat iron to the side and I'm like, you know what? We're not gonna do this anymore. We're gonna get our hair back to healthy. And the first step is always by getting rid of that flat iron. Tip number two is to do the big chop. Now I know that could be really scary for some people and they don't wanna chop off all their hair. Trust me, I know, my hair was all the way down my back touching the top of my jeans when I decided to do the big chop, but trust me, it makes the biggest difference in your hair it is what your hair needs if you ever notice your hair is doing like the semi curly kind of wavy and then just goes straight that straight part is damaged and you need to chop that off immediately now i got a big chop about two years ago and i'm gonna do a separate video all about that my experience with that but when i did it i didn't know how much of a difference i would see in my hair and how much healthier it became and it became so much more bouncy and during my big shop they told me everything that I needed to do to keep my hair healthy and I really did see the difference and some of those tips I'm adding into this video and sharing with you guys too so you're getting the inside scoop on what I learned from my hair salon and we're just gonna keep on rolling in with tip number three Tip number three is a very important tip, and you'll probably hear it from a lot of other curly hair influencers, that you need to deep condition. If you've never deep conditioned in your life and, and you're starting to transition, do it now. Go out, go get some deep conditioners, research some good deep conditioners, because your hair needs it. Now, every type of curly hair is different. Everybody has different types of curls. And what you need may be different from some, what somebody else needs. So if you need more moisturizing, but somebody else's hair is already super moisturized, they might need just like something else <laughs> I can't think of. But Now I deep condition once a week, which I hear a lot of people do too, to do it once a week. And this is usually on my wash day. So while I'm in the shower, I'll add my deep conditioner. And I'll also have another video on that too coming up of how I deep condition and what I use. But after I do use my deep conditioner, I see such a big difference in my hair and how it feels and how it looks just from like how, what my day five hair was looking like because it was getting kind of dry. So my wash day hair and it's super moisturized, super bouncy, super curly, and it's probably one of my favorite tips in transitioning your hair and having your hair get back to healthy and recovering it from heat damage is the deep conditioner. So make sure you guys go out and get yourself a deep conditioner and condition that hair once a week. <laughs> now tip number four kind of goes in with tip number three with the deep conditioner is that you want to wash your hair less often. Now, I never knew that. I always used to wash my hair every other day, not realizing that that's drying my hair out more because of using shampoo every other day. And that just isn't good for curly hair and natural hair. And you need those natural oils that come out of your head and your scalp and all that to moisturize your hair. So you want to go at least what I do is like five to six days without washing and then that have that super big wash day once a week. 
So when you wash less often, you get those natural oils coming out and moisturizing your hair along with all the products that you're using if you are refreshing your hair every day throughout those non-wash days, which are very necessary for your hair. Also with washing less often, guess what? You don't have to buy shampoo and conditioner as often, which is great. You save yourself some money and your hair looks good. <laughs> so now you know, you want that shampoo and conditioner to last? Wash your hair less often and your hair is going to still look good. <laughs> now tip number five, again, it's going to play into the previous tip that along with washing your hair less often, you're going to want to wash your hair in cold water. Now I know that sounds very scary. You don't want to take cold showers, you want to take hot showers, but hot water is bad for your hair. And like having it heat damaged from a flat iron, you're basically heat damaging it from your shower. So washing your hair in cold water is very essential. Now when I'm in the shower, I'll put the hot water on, but as I'm about to rinse out the product out my hair, I'll change it to cold and just like lean my head back and make sure I'm getting all the product out, but still like not having to get my body into the cold water because that's not fun. So again, if you don't wanna go like fully into the cold water, just the same way as you don't wanna fully stop straightening your hair, do it in like steps or like a process. Like start at like maybe warmer water or lukewarm water and then like transition yourself into the cold cold water the cold water is good for your hair your skin your body when you drink cold water cold water is the best i know it sounds very scary again but you're not gonna regret it cold water makes such a difference now for my sixth and final tip you want to stay away from dyeing your hair bleaching your hair any of that while you're in this transition phase now you want to do this because while there are healthier ways to dye your hair nowadays, like if you go to a curly hair salon, they'll do what it's called like pintura if you want to get like the highlights and stuff. But I wouldn't recommend doing that right away when you are transitioning just because I feel like you're gonna damage your hair more. So you kind of want to get to that point where like your hair is more healthy before you start dyeing it again. Now, I went two years without dyeing my hair. I had my natural dark hair color, which is like this up here. For two years, I was so scared to dye my hair again and to bleach it again because I was previously fully blonde before I did go back to my dark hair. And I saw how much that did damage my hair, but at that point, I was still straining it too. So this was <laughs> right before I started transitioning. That's when I decided, you know what? I'm gonna go back to my dark hair and I'm going to get my curls back. So after my two years of having my natural hair, I decided to go and get the highlights. So I went to my hair salon that specializes in doing curly hair and curly cuts and all that. So I knew I had trusted them with getting my hair healthy. So I knew I was going to trust them with dyeing my hair too. Now when I got my Pintura highlights, the hairstylist had told me, we're gonna take it slow because we don't want to damage your hair. And I knew with having dark hair that if I was going to do blonde, it was gonna come out very like bronzy. And I didn't want that. I wanted some more like a brighter blonde, like more true kind of blonde, but still kind of like brown, but not bronzy complicated I gave her pictures she knew what to do and yeah so if you already have your natural dark hair and you have never highlighted it or bleached it because there are some people who haven't then this is great for you but if you have highlighted hair I would say maybe grow it out and or go back to your dark hair color and leave it like that for a while before you dye it again once your curls are healthy again and you know all the steps to do to keep them healthy, which products to use, which deep conditioners you like to use. Once you know all of that, then have fun with your hair. Do all the different colors that you want. But I know just like personally, my tip was don't dye your hair, don't bleach it, don't do any of that until your hair is back to healthy. So I hope you guys enjoyed my tips and you guys learned some things new and wrote down some of the tips so you can use it. And if you guys have any tips that you guys would like to share, 
leave it down in the comments below and I would love to hear them. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you know every time I upload. See you guys next time.